Well, there she is, all laminated and decaled up. It looks kick butt. <laughs> Kicks ass, actually. More appropriate. All right, now we're going to put the uh, elevons on. Next part. All right, attaching the elevons. Uh, what I do is I take uh, some of the uh, Scotch shipping tape and I use those as hinges. What I did was I took a, um, a strip, cut a strip. That's about a little, about that's about a half an inch wide, and I lay just a little bit enough on the elevon, a little bit more that's going to go on the wing, and then I'll run my hand over this and make sure it's really nice and tight and firm on there. And then I'm going to apply it to the top part of that wing there. And then uh, what I do is, I'll show you that later actually. Okay, so I totally forgot to film that part and I'm not at home with the wing. But basically to put the underside piece of tape on, uh, after you put the top piece on, you basically flip up the elevon so that these two pieces are flat and then you're going to lay the second strip underneath and then you'll fold the elevon down that'll give you a hinge on the top and a hinge on the bottom that's up in the corner and it'll work out great it'll be nice and strong all right we're up to installing the uh, electronics and the servos so what I did was I cut a flap out of the servo bay. Um, I remelted the hole through here for the servo lead. I didn't like that little slot I cut because I wanted to keep it clean. So I just melted a new hole. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide that in there. We're gonna glue it down like that. And we're gonna glue that back down to there from left, left to the right side. Right now that the servo's in, we're going to attach the uh, control horn in the approximate position we need. Measure, cut the rod, attach to the uh, threaded coupler, attach to the, bell, or the ball link, attach to the servo. Easy peasy. There she is installed. Servo's in, everything's running. Alright, so both servos are in. Uh, they work great. Uh, the receiver is in there. It's not permanently installed. I ran the antennas up through the slot that I originally cut for the servo wire and they're going to be bent up vertically and then split into a V using some uh, uh, straws. A hot glue gun in there like in a V pattern for diversity. And Let's get moving. I'm trying to fly this thing later today at around 530. It's 1230 now. All right, the uh, ESC is on, and what I used to mount that was some Scotch Extreme Strong double-sided tape. Moving on. All right, so the ESC uh, melted a hole through, soldered on an XT60 with two pigtails, one going to the SPEC, which will go to the receiver to power the servos, and another one to go to the LC filter, which uh, has two ports on it, which will power the VTX and the uh, camera. All right, I know it looks like a big spaghetti mess, but uh, it's coming along nicely actually, and it's going to tidy up real well. I got to melt out the section for the camera here in the nose section, route the wire to the um, LC filter. The harness I just soldered directly to it for the VTX right here, and then the uh, this will be just uh, plug and play on the other end. All right, things are really tidied up. Um, everything's hot glue gun down or Velcro down or double-sided tape down. Got the uh, voltage sensor uh, glued in on that side, receivers in, LC filter, SPEC, VTX, ESC, got to do the motor. Uh, got some uh, high-tech coffee stirrers, uh, using them for the uh, antenna holders for diversity. We'll dab a hot glue down there. I'm waiting for that to dry. And we're going to be moving on, and we got to mount the cam, the battery, and the motor. And then I think we're, oh, winglets. They're last. Then we're done. 
All right, we're gonna uh, mount the motor mount now, and I'm gonna use a rubber gasket that I got from Lowe's. Uh, it's by Hillman, they're like 69 cents. Take a hole punch and chop a hole at each corner for the uh, mounting uh, screws. All right, Yuski, we're going to main the new one. There she is on the left. Killer decal, man. Thanks.